Aromatic adventure. Let me tell you something. I love this place. Sal Deerfield, Massachusetts, home of the Yankee Candle Village flagship store. And today is August 24th, the day before the 2018 Halloween preview party, this year appropriately named the Magic and Moonlight Ball. That's right, folks. Tomorrow morning, the whole nation is going to be celebrating Yankee Candle Halloween. But for me, this is the place to be. Inside, the staff is hard at work. They're setting up all of the decorations, the displays. They're getting ready for all of the haunted festivities. Not all of the products are on the shelves yet, but some are. We'll take a close look at them. And then first thing tomorrow morning, we'll be back to fully experience the magic and moonlight ball. How does that sound? Sounds good to me, Let, but let's go inside. So this is the big moment. They are getting ready just behind these doors. So like in previous years, we're back in the showroom. This is usually where all of the Halloween uh, products are uh, displayed and for sale. So as you can see, what they have set up, we have this old, very beautiful, decorated, kind of a fortune teller's gypsy-esque stagecoach. We can see the stagecoach wheels. Inside, there's tarot cards, fortune teller reading cards, all of, all of the paraphernalia that one would need to tell a fortune. There's even a crystal ball. But inside the cart is also where we're gonna find accessories and an assortment of different formats where we can buy our candles this year. It's not just a jar. We have several options. We can do tumblers, we can do ceramic jars, we can do mediums, we can do larges. We have a selection. So with a little bit of observation, taking a look around of, of what's already here, I think I have the gist of what the theme is, what they're going for this year. Since it's called the Magic and Moonlight Ball, we have, of course, the moon and we have Enchanted Moon, a brand new fragrance that's uh, for 2018. We have are two fragrances, the Sweet Seduction and Witch's Brew in these seven ounce ceramic jars. They're like these old witch apothecary jars, something you would find on the shelf of a witch's castle, right? Where she's conducting her experiments. So yeah, ceramic. Ceramic is going to hold the heat on the wax. Uh, much better than glass. And we have this beautiful satin finish on this uh, house warmer jar with a glossy top. If I'm doing my math correctly, first year in 20 years that Witch's Brew is going to be available in the full size 22 ounce house warmer jar. And take a look at that label, folks. They've really outdone themselves. This is one of my favorite labels that I have seen Yankee Candle produce in uh, at least several years. We have the Witch's Cauldron with some form of ooey gooey, green bubbling, oozing goo emitting this white vapor, this smoke, and that vapor transforms itself into that Edgar Allan Raven-esque Poe who is valiantly standing, perched on top of this cauldron. In the corner there, what looks to me like a mosaic window, as if this label, this photo was taken in the tower of the witch's castle. But some have said, including myself, if you take a look at this label, maybe pull it away and maybe uh, unfocus your eyes a little bit, can you see the witch in this label. And to have that in a full-size house warmer jar is a true gift. But we have also have sort of our replacement to the candy corn. We have this delicious sweet seduction candle, which was introduced last year, and it's back. So we can also buy the sweet seduction in the 22 ounce full-size house warmer jar as well. So options, folks, options. And just when you think, well, that's a lot of formats, there's still another format you can purchase your candles in. The tumbler, kind of what we saw last year. It's a frosted tumbler. We also have our Edgar Allan Poe Raven on there with really pretty glossy aluminum black Yankee candle lid. So which 
which format will you be buying your Halloween candles in this year? Leave that in the comments below. I still have to decide. I'm probably gonna end up buying all of them. We have, look at that, a tea light holder, our votive holder. But as soon as you decide to shine some light through it, you'll get a glow that illuminates all through the glass. And imagine what it would look like with a flame flickering inside. This is probably, probably the first thing that's gonna be going into my shopping cart tomorrow morning. I do see a haunted house, only we're dealing with something that's a little bit like, this is for me, right? I can find a place to store this on the off season. A nice compromise. In previous years, we've seen witches' hands that hold the jars, right? And then a year after that, we saw a witch's hand with a ring. Last year, we had the skeleton hand, correct? Well, this year, no human appendages were harmed. Oh, God. We have, this is like some crazy, you know, uh, you know, prehistoric falcon or, uh, uh, or like a baby dragon paw. I don't know. Sticking with that rip reptilian theme, it is a frosted piece of glass that has that three-dimensional dragon skin effect. I got a spotlight right here on me. Maybe you can get a little bit of that, but this is totally giving me a disco ball effect. Disguises, surprises, the magic and moonlight ball rises. It is the morning of August 25th, the 2018 Halloween Yankee Candle preview party. You can already see that there's the line stretching outside of the door. People are ready with their shopping carts, ready to purchase for Halloween 2018. But you know, I figure let's let's go get in line. Let's not stand here. So this way we can be in the front of the action. This is where they have everything set up on display. We're talking bony bunch, we're talking fragrances, we're talking accessories, but most importantly, really what I want to highlight is the staff's attention to detail as far as decorating the village for the, the parties every year. But before we head on over there, let's check out some of the autumn fragrances. Autumn Pearl is certainly here on display. If you were a big fan, like I was, of Sugared Pumpkin Swirl last year, it has made uh, a return. And we also have some accessories. One thing that Yankee Candle Village does not have a shortage of, these LED flickering canvases, uh, battery operated canvases. I actually have a ton of these, but they have some really great choices. I'm a huge ha fan. How's, how's it going? And Good. your name? Logan. Logan. I love your YouTube channel. Oh, uh, thank you it. so much. Have you been here for a little bit? Have yes. you been shopping? Yes. Anything that caught your eye? What is, what, what's There's on your- There's actually a dragon hand I love. It was a dragon, dragon hand. Yeah. You can yeah. use it for Halloween. You can use Absolutely. it for when you're watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> I love Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Well, Logan, absolute pleasure. Some nightmare before Christmas paraphernalia. You know I'm a huge Disney fan. You know I'm a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan. And they are celebrating their own little milestone for Christmas. 25 years, that's right, 1993. Doesn't seem like all that long ago. And check it out, up here, high up in the room or in the sky, look at all of the real branches and cobwebs. We have our moon, and right underneath the moon, appropriately placed, the brand new Enchanted Moon fragrance. This is one of the eight brand new fragrances 
for 2018. Hey, hey, how's hey. it going? We have another candle enthusiast fan, is that correct? He's awesome. Oh, thank I you love, so love much. I that really you know you don't know how much that means to me. But I do have to ask you. What, what, so, we're, ta we're taking... Which is brew, of course, but I can't make a decision between the two So of these. she's got the skeleton votive holder, the skeleton hands, but one is, it's got the footed pedestal, and one is, you know, lays flat. I don't know, so I really don't, I didn't... It's a hard decision. Which, which one do you guys think? Yeah, know. please, help me out. <laughs> Boney is back and back in a very big way. We have a lot of our favorite characters returning, including the bride and groom, but we have uh, the little puppy driving, uh, chauffeuring the vehicle, and in the back we have the pumpkin head that holds the tea light and our top-hatted skeleton. Large jar, candle holder. You got a lot of familiar Bony Bunch visuals, characters on there. This is where my heart is right here. We have the bride and the Franken Frankenstein's monster. They seem to be in a little bit of a dance, a waltzing mode uh, this year. These are taper holders, $29.99. So I just I just bumped into yeah, Debbie that. while we're shopping. She's a she's a candle enthusiast subscriber, and we're checking out what she has in her cart. But she's telling me that she's she has a Halloween story. What's her Halloween story? It's a Christmas story. Uh -huh. I was actually coming up here one Christmas time. We always do every year. I was on the Yankee video or Yankee website. Right. Clicked on a video for the Santa Claus's arrival. I was in the Yankee Candle video from last year. A Yankee Christmas Candle video. celebrity. Check well, this out. I don't out. know about that. Well, I don't know. I think you fall into that category. Debbie, absolute pleasure to meet you. Pleasure meeting Happy you. Happy shopping. Your video. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. Thank you. All right, say goodbye to everybody. Bye. And let me tell you, something else that's moving quickly. They have to keep stocking this shelf. You know what? People are just into the scary clowns. And I guess this piece is no exception. We have a head Headless clown, a headless clown, and his head is perched on top of his his cane. If you can see that, and inside you can easily stick a votive, uh, a tea light, uh, you don't know, or some kind of battery-operated LED. But either way, uh, a really uh, nice-sized bony bunch. So if you really don't want like a huge, monstrous, heavy piece that you're afraid is going to break, this. For me, is probably the one I will be taking home. I always pick one or two a year. Let's take a close look at this one here. We have the doctor and nurse. I'm trying to figure out what the situation is with these two. It looks like a barrel. It actually looks like an oak barrel. That's a jack-o'-lantern. The doctor is holding a knife that you necessarily would not see in a surgical procedure. You know, it's something more uh, that we would see in, in, the, in, in the kitchen. The nurse has some form of coil that is attached to the bottom of this barrel. I don't I don't know what they're up to. If you know what's going on, list that in the in the comments below. Let's keep this going. And we do have a pirate bony bunch this year. This seems to be like you know, a safety boat, like a getaway boat. It's a very small, it's a very, if he's the master of the ship, uh, it's nothing really to write home about, because it is small, but he does have some pirate's booty in the back. We have uh, the pirate's chest, which will hold a glass of votive holder inside of these cavities. So this way you don't have to scrape out or ruin uh, your bony bunch figurines with melted wax. And look at that. He has, uh, you know, just a random severed head. So down here below, we have another small little uh, token. We do have a tea light holder with kind of like a young, a young witch trick or treater, and she's standing on top of this jack o' lantern. So I suppose to go along with the little trick or treater witch, it's kind of starting to remind me of Lock, Shock, and Barrel now from. Nightmare Before Christmas, but we have kind of a, a child skeleton, and in his hand he's holding a, a bat, almost as if uh, it was a balloon. So perhaps these two go together. 
And if they don't go together, they certainly would look good sitting next to each other. So that's always, always an option, and options are good. And we do have a couple Sophia options this year. So this does come in two different forms. The two votive or tea light holders, or as a taper holder. But either way, both of them look like a late 1960s or 70s almost as if it were made of lucite. Uh, it has that retro look to it. The witch on the rocking chair. Is it a rocking chair? I can't quite tell. But she's got her broom, she's got her skeleton cat. And right next to her is a place for you to put your tea light or votive uh, on a pile of books filled with witchy spells. He's doing a little bit of grave robbing, this puppy. And uh, right there in the center, we can stick our uh, votive, we can stick our tea light holder, your choice. I was, I was really eyeballing this witch before. You know, you always see these, Briar's Choice Limited. I, I you know, I've always wanted one, I, I don't have one. And if there was one, I would truly choose to have. Look at, look at her, she is beautiful. And she's got that natural curl in her hair, just like me. Velvet robe, her green gown, and her wicker basket filled with some cobweb catastrophes. How could I not stop off in the Black Forest? We have Sally, we have Dr. Finkelstein's tower, we have a Jack's house, we have the town hall, and Zero over there, and the mayor. We even have the phosphorescent, I guess, a vomiting, vomiting uh, a statuette. Uh, right there in the middle of the town. But the brand new addition that I have to, to, I have to point out is this, they made this. This is not for purchase, this is not for sale, this is not uh, manufactured. This is a styrofoam moon that has been uh, sculpted uh, with Jack Skellington standing, his place of solitude. Let's get in nice and close. We have last year's layered candle. Now this year we don't have a swirl candle. This year we don't have a layered candle. So this is a great opportunity uh, to get uh, one of these layered candles. Now if you don't have the time or the ability to visit South Deerfield, Massachusetts, you can always give them a call and request for them to send a few products your way. From my experience, they've always been happy to do so. We have these battery-operated jack-o'-lantern-esque gourds. What a selection they have. We have this guy right here, which is one that I'd probably pick, a trio of three different colors of pumpkins, but look at this skello lantern as I'm going to name it. Uh, a skeleton gourd with a little felt top hat. We even have Frankenstein's monster and the light bulb is inside. They're not all illuminated, but I assure you they do light up. Here is another example of the Frankenstein. If you had to choose, which one would you go home with? And I know we're here at the Halloween party, but look at the new Deerfield, or I guess village exclusive, balsam and cedar. Uh, usually we have Santa Claus in his very fancy vehicle or older vehicle, uh, but not this year. Look at that. We have Santa pulling a green gift from a stocking. So the time has come, the time I always get very nervous about. The blind sniff candle testing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they have a flight of candles 
that are unmarked and you have to go through each fragrance one at a time. This year they're not testing people to see if they can actually guess the fragrance. They're just asking people if they can pick their favorite and then they, like a fortune teller, read their personality based on which is their favorite. However, I have asked to go through the flight blind to see if I can guess all of the fragrances. Uh, they can be new, they can be old, I have no idea. All right, folks, I usually have my two cameras, but uh, I only have the one today, so I'm gonna kind of scooch down. We have our flight right here. We have eight fragrances. I'm gonna guess them all, and uh, we'll see how many I get right. Number one. Okay, so the colors of these uh, may be giving some of them away. Enchanted Moon, brand new fragrance. Sweet seduction, baby. Sweet cream, right. sweet cream, honey, buttercream, candy corn action all the way. Also the color on this one, perhaps giving it away. I'm gonna go with Autumn Pearl, brand new for 2018. Number four. Black Wax, you take a guess. Uh, that's gonna be Witch's Brew. And one of my all-time favorite autumn candles, released in 2016, crisp fall night. Yankee Candle Classic Spiced Pumpkin. Number seven, another classic, originally released in uh, the apothecary jar here at South Deerfield, Midsummer's Night. All right, based on the color, I was gonna go with Warm Lux Cashmere, no, no. This was my number one pick for last year, autumn 2017, Moonbeams on Pumpkins. But let's see, I'm, I'm acting a little bit confident. Let's see how many of these I got right. There's no labels on them, but if we look on the bottom and we can indeed see right there, Enchanted Moon and then candle number two, Sweet Seduction. All right, baby. I went with Autumn Pearl and that's exactly what it is. Number four, which is Brew Spiced Pumpkin Crisp Fall Night. Number seven, we're getting there, we're getting there. Midsummer's Night. I think we're home free at this point. Number eight, my guess was Moonbeams on Pumpkin. And if you take a close look right there, that's exactly what it is. There's nobody here to give me a round of applause. So please, at home, if you can find it in your heart, clap your hand a couple times. So another Halloween has come and gone, Linus. Actually, it hasn't. Halloween season hasn't even begun. But that's going to do it for the Yankee Candle Magic and Moonlight Ball here at the flagship store in South Deerfield, Massachusetts. I hope you folks had a great time watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. And if you're doing Yankee Candle Halloween shopping this year, happy shopping. That's it for me today, folks. I will be seeing you soon. But until then, be good.